Reza Zarab, the government's star witness in the trial of a Turkish banker accused of violating United States sanctions on Iran, was recorded in a 2016 jailhouse phone call saying that one needed to lie in America in order to make it out of prison, according to a summary of the conversation released on Monday. Reza says in such a country, in order to get out or get a reduced sentence, you need to admit to crimes you haven't committed, the summary says. The summary was contained in a public court filing by lawyers for the Turkish banker, Mehmet Hakan Attila. It was part of a letter to the judge in which the lawyers complained that prosecutors had withheld summaries of five audio recordings and other potentially critical evidence for several days beyond a deadline the judge had set. Mr. Zarab's statements, the defense lawyers argued, showed him proclaiming his willingness to fabricate testimony out of whole cloth in order to obtain a reduced sentence. The two-page document summarizing the conversations, which is stamped subject to protective order, was apparently filed publicly by mistake, and it was soon removed from the public docket. It was not until last week that prosecutors revealed that Mr. Zarab, 34, had pleaded guilty on October 26 in a secret court hearing and became a cooperating government witness in the sanctions case. On Wednesday, asked why he had decided to assist the government, Mr. Zarab testified during the trial, cooperation was the fastest way to accept responsibility and to get out of jail at once. The defense's legal filing came on the fourth day of testimony by Mr. Zarab, a Turkish-Iranian gold trader who pleaded guilty to helping orchestrate a billion-dollar oil for a gold scheme in violation of the sanctions. Last week, he testified that in 2012, he paid tens of millions of dollars in bribes to Turkey's then foreign minister, Zafar Kaglian, to help with the scheme. Mr. Zarab also testified at the trial in federal district court in Manhattan that Recep Tayyip Erdogan, then Turkey's prime minister and now its president, personally ordered that two Turkish banks be allowed to participate in the scheme. On Monday, Mr. Zarab testified that he paid bribes to obtain his release after being arrested in December 2013 in an investigation by the Turkish police, and that he soon restarted his sanctions busting activities. Jurors in the New York case have been told that corrupt Turkish officials shut down the investigation and organized a purge of the police and prosecutors who ran it. They were also told that Mr. Zarab had put up bribe money for judges, so that everything could be made to go away. In Turkey, officials remained defiant over the weekend in their attitude toward the case, which has the country abuzz over the allegations of huge bribes and political influence. In a speech to supporters on Saturday, President Erdogan denounced the United States court and repeated accusations that members of the Fethullah Gulen movement, often referred to as FETO, had fabricated the evidence. Fake, unreal courts cannot sentence my country, he told a local party congress in the eastern city of Kars.